What is good, everybody? Welcome back to Real Fan Sports. My name is Zach, and we're back for the 24-25 NFL season record predictions. We're still in the AFC East. Got one team left. If you haven't checked the rest, go ahead and drop yourself back and get caught up. But we're going to start off with the Jets. Aaron Rodgers, back healthy, at least for now. Hopefully, you know, they, they need it. Um, man, they showed out last year. Even though the record didn't show, defense was phenomenal, played great. I think it should be the same standard going into this year. And then you have Garrett Wilson, who is another year older, a little, another year more mature in his NFL career. Then you also have Brees Hall, same situation. You go and acquire Mike Williams, another big pickup. Um, I'm really excited for this Jets team, and I think they can do waves if they do the right things, right? If they're able to stay healthy and they're able to be coached well by Salah and Aaron Rodgers can you know, even be like a 80% version of himself. That's like the biggest thing. He doesn't need to be Aaron Rodgers from four or five years ago. He needs to be Aaron Rodgers of now, um, patient, decisive, and do the right things, and they can win a lot of games this year. Now, I will not lie to you. I did pick the Jets to win this game, but obviously I was wrong by a long shot. It was not a very pretty game. Niners showed their dominance, but we're going to pretend like we didn't see that, and I'm going to give you all my raw predictions. I am a week late with all this. Uh, week two, they're going against the Titans. They're going to get their get back against the Titans. Uh, Titans look bad in week one, too, um, and I just don't have a lot of hope in, uh, for the Tennessee Titans this year. Uh, week three, they'll face off against the Patriots. I just don't see the Patriots winning too many games this year. I know they took the week one one, but uh, I, don't, I don't know what happened there. I'm sure a lot of people lost some money on that one. Uh, week four, they're going to go up against the Broncos. New quarterback in Bo Nix with the Denver Broncos. We'll see how that pans out come week four. Um, I, I like the Jets here too, man. I don't think the Broncos are going to be good. Sean Payton should have stayed retired. Uh, I said that as soon as he left and then went there. It just really didn't make any sense to me, but that's a story for another day. Uh, then we'll follow into week five where they'll face off against the Minnesota Vikings. Man, the Vikings were in a weird situation. You know, losing J.J. McCarthy uh, now on a different quarterback starting and Sam Darnold. Justin Jefferson's still there. He's healthy finally from last year dealing with his issues. They got a new running back in Aaron Jones. Uh, and Aaron Jones looked good. But I don't still don't trust this Vikings team. I don't think it's good enough to beat the Jets. So I'm going week five Jets again as they're getting on a little bit of roll here. As you see in a previous prediction, I had them winning against the Bills going, was that five in a row? Five in a row. Then they face off the Steelers in week seven. This is a super easy schedule for the Jets. Has anyone noticed this or is it just me? Like, this is not a very tough beginning. I mean, you could see the Bills possibly winning this one here. Uh, but outside of that, I, I don't see that. I don't see anything else that could change. Uh, I'm cool with giving the Jets over Pittsburgh. Now, you can never count Mike Tomlin off. I do think this will be the first year that he's under 500. Um, I put him right above 500 last year. This year, I just feel even more or less confident. We'll see how Justin Fields and Russell Wilson, whoever ends up being the quarterback at this time, how that pans out. But they lack wide receiver depth. They don't have great running backs. Defense is still very solid, and that is what can keep them in the game. And they'll need that in order to uh, beat a lot of teams this year. Uh, week 8, early against Patriots again. Yeah, like I said, I just don't trust Patriots. Uh, then they'll face off against the Texans. I think the Texans are going to be too high-flying uh, for the Jets to stop. I don't think Aaron Rodgers is going to be able to put up those type of numbers. It's going to rely heavily on the defense. It's going to be on a Thursday night, so it's going to be a short rest as well, which makes it a little bit harder for a man of Rodgers' age to, uh, you know, recover and, and get there at 100%. So I'm confident in saying the Texans will win this one. And since it's on Thursday night, we'll be live for this game right here on Real Fan Sports. Make sure you come drop by. We have a great time. Uh, week 10 versus the Cardinals. The Cardinals are a sneaky team this year. I've talked about it in previous reactions. Uh, I don't think I've placed them winning a game yet, but they can be a sneaky team. I want to say the Jets won't lose this one, but I think it's going to be tough. I think it will be a closer game than what a lot of people are predicting it to be. Uh, week 11 versus the Colts. I'm actually okay with saying the Colts are going to get a win here before the uh, for the Jets bye week. It'll be the first time the Jets uh, in this season so far will be seeing a mobile quarterback. So I think that is going to make a pretty big difference. Um, and I'm interested to see how they're going to game plan against him. Uh, and then by week 11, Anthony Richardson should be looking at full form. He looked damn good the other day. We'll see how he looks come week 11, but I'm I'm okay with uh with the Colts possibly taking this one. Jets could still win it, but I'll go out on a limb and say Colts take it. Following the bye in week 12, we're going to week 13 versus Seattle at home. 
they'll go ahead and take that one. Uh, following there, we, I gave them a loss against Miami Dolphins. Check back in the previous videos. Then week 15, they're going to go ahead and face up against the Jacksonville Jaguars. This is one where I think the Jets have a better team at this point. Um, and so I'm going to rock with that. But I think that these are some what-if games that Jacksonville always does have a couple games where they look like superstars. Jets overall should be able to hold the Jaguars down. Uh, defensively and if Aaron Rodgers is still there I think they'll be clicking Brees Hall will be in full form at this point uh, I'm confident in this this choice uh, week 16 against the Los Angeles Rams man really good offense versus a really good defense a you know middle tier could be really good offense in the Jets versus a not so good defense in the Rams I think I'm gonna say that Stafford's gonna slice and dice this Jets defense I think after watching week one, I know I'm trying to pretend like I didn't see it, but I think that Stafford's going to do a lot of study on that defense and where they were able to find gaps and holes in order to dissect them. Um, and we even saw a lot of it in the play-by-play -play coverage of that game uh, from the analysts there and where those gaps were. And I think Stafford's going to do a good job at trying to exploit those as well with his uh, dual threat wide receivers and Puka Nakua and Cooper Cup and grab the win. And then week 17, week 18, we already got that predicted. So that will give the Jets a 12-5 and record. Okay, a little higher than what I thought initially. A little higher than what I thought. I was thinking around 11, uh, but I can definitely see a healthy Aaron Rodgers getting 12 wins this season. He's done it plenty of times before, even when people counted him out already. Um, there's definitely some that could switch around. You definitely could see, um, you know, Jaguars possibly winning here. You definitely could see, um, you know, some other motion taking place. But 12 and 5, I'm pretty cool with that. Let me know down below what y'all think. Jets fans, are y'all excited? Are y'all excited to possibly have a, a playoff run? How long has it been? Are y'all excited? I hope y'all are. Yo, Q, if you're in the comments, let me know what you think of my predictions. We'll catch you on the next one, guys. Look forward. We got our last team in the AFC East, and that would be the New England Patriots. That would be a short video. Catch you on the next one. Cheers.